What is going on today guys and girls welcome back to the channel and in today's video we have this Nissan Silvia S15 um, Build for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys after the intro Alright, so guys, in today's video, like I said earlier, we have Sylvia, brand new build here um, for today. We have running in this thing is, we have 350 horsepower with 425 newton meters of torque, uh, running at 1,300 kg, man. It's not a bad little build, like, you know, I said this about all my builds, but you know, I really like this build. It feels good. Um, it's definitely a lot slower than the normal um, S15, you know, because how the normal S15 it feels like the the um, the stock engine that it has in it. It's 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 quite a fast engine, man. You know, it, it doesn't it doesn't like to go slow. So I've switched out the uh, engine here and tried the RB26, and it actually feels pretty good. Spoiler alert, there's an RB26 in this thing. But anyway, we're going to jump straight over to conversions here. As I've already said, we've got the 2.6 layer i6 um, double T engine in this thing, um, which is the RB26. It feels good, man. It does feel good. Like I say, it's a very popular engine in the drift community here at the moment. So it's, you know, oh, I mean, it always has been, you know. But no, it's, um, it's a good engine, bro. But anyway, moving on to drivetrain as well. We've got a stock drivetrain in this thing. Obviously, we're going to keep with the rear-wheel drive. We ain't going with no all-wheel drive here on the channel. Always in that rear-wheel drive. Also, again, with the wide body here, I do need to make a wide body build. Um, put that on the, on the list, man. But no, um, I haven't actually made a wide body build yet. But no, you can throw that on here if you want to. Um, throw on that's actually shaved off a bit of weight actually to be fair <laughs> shaved off weight look at that stock is 1300 but the the wide body is 1002 mad it might be to do with um the other mods that i've got in this thing but anyway um you know you guys can run that if you want to obviously you just gotta bear in mind that weight um Moving on here, we have error and appearance. You guys already know you can run whatever you want to do. Uh, I haven't put the wing on this thing. I thought it looked pretty uh, pretty good without a wing on it. Like I say, it looks good with or without, to be fair. It's an S15. It's one of my favorite cars, by the way. I love the S15 in this game. It's friggin' awesome. But anyway, yeah, guys, you can run whatever you want. Whatever um, body mods you want to put on that, that's absolutely fine. That's not a problem. Straight on tires and rims here. On tire compound, we're running stock tire compound. You guys already know we don't want to run no more uh, grippy stuff on here. We're just running the stock tires. Now, moving on to the tire width, front tire width. We've got stock. Um, you can bump it up if you want to, but I like it without the grip. So we're going to leave it as stock. We've got the stock grip on the front. And we got 205 millimeters on the rear, which is stock again. Again, not bad a little setup here. You can run a little bit more if you want to, but I prefer it so it's like super skiddy, man. You know, super super slidey. So we got the, <laughs> we're running the donuts on this thing, man. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. You can, you guys already know you can run whatever rims you want. Any sort of rims on here, you guys can uh, have a flick through and see what see what's good with it. Again. Exactly the same thing as before. It's just gonna come into weight, man. You know, different rims, you know, cost you different weights. But anyway, moving on to the front tire rim size, we have uh, 17s on this thing. I bumped them up a little bit. I thought the stock ones, eh, they look good, but 17s look better. So I've thrown on the 17 size on the front rim size and on the rear rim size as well. We've got 17 inches on the back as well, dude. So front track width we have the max out on the front track width as you guys already know we're not running the stock we are running full on track width on the front and the back man so that is also a hundred percent on the back so moving on here to the drivetrain you guys already know we've got to put all this race all this stuff as race so that way we can get our um, tuning so we've got the race clutch on here we have the race transmission we've got the race drive line and we have the race differential. As I said just a second ago, this unlocks all of the tune and stuff so that way we can tune the car itself. Moving on to performance and handling. Once again, race brakes unlocks that brakes tuning. You got the drift springs and dampeners. Again, unlocks the alignment tuning and all that good stuff. Um, race anti-roll bars. 
uh, front and the race rear anti-roll bars. Again, unlocks tuning. So, roll cage, this is going to throw in a little bit more weight. Um, I put the full cage in here, like I say, adds a little bit more, a little bit more weight to the car. It feels good, looks good, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, weight reduction, I have left that as stock. Again, guys, if you want to run to 1,200, that is sort of what I suggest uh, you like run for kg in your car. Any lower than that, then it is going to be quite quick. Um, however, I stuck with the 1,003 in this, and it actually feels pretty good. It felt pretty good, you know, all that good stuff. So, I mean, run 1,002 if you want to, or 1,296, uh, that's fine. Just pick between those three I guess but a thousand one hundred you'll be gone like a like you know speed of Gonzales where you'll be out so yeah now guys that is uh, that's pretty much that so let's move on to the all important thing which is the engine now intake I have the street intake in this thing I have stock fuel systems stock ignition stock exhaust we got the stock cams we got stock valves Stock engine block, stock pistons and compression, stock uh, stock twin turbos. We've got the race intercooler, race oil and coolant, and a race flywheel, man. And that will give you your 350 horsepower with 425 newton meters of torque. It's not bad, man. It's not a bad little build, bro. Not a bad little build. I'm liking this, man. I'm liking the way how this car feels, all that good stuff. But now we're going to move on to the tuning. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so guys, here we are in the tuning section. Um, as you can see right off the bat here, tire pressure, we've got 50 PSI on both, which is slightly different to what I usually run. But I feel like this car needed it, man. You know, it just needed the little bump. You know what I'm saying? So we've got the 50 PSI in the front and in the rear. We've got the 50 PSI. Um, moving on here to gears, we have the final drive. We've got 3.00 in the final drive. First, we have 5.13. Second, we have 2.57. Third, we have 2.05. Fourth, we have 1.48. 5th we have 1.23 and 6th we have 1.05 now if you guys want to uh, pause the video and get these gears down make sure you get them absolutely perfect um, so that way you guys can run the exact same tune that I'm running um, yeah no pause the, pause the video man <laughs> moving on to alignment here we got negative 5.0 degrees in the front camber here and the negative 4.5 in the back um, how in tow we have 1.0 degrees um, uh, to the front and in the rear we have negative 0.2 angle again is 6.5 now if you guys want to run 7 that's completely up to you guys that's personal preference this is all for complete personal preference if you want to change anything in this tune uh, you can that's not I won't get offended that's fine <laughs> but if it's, it's drifting is all about your style of play man it's like what it, whatever you feel comfortable with you know so change it up if you want to like I say keep it the same it don't matter it's up to you so moving on here we have anti-roll bars we got those are stock for me I don't touch the anti-roll bars same with springs and same with dampeners they are all stock for me um, brakes we got 60% brake balance and the 70% pressure again guys th this just literally slows you down just enough so you don't smash into the say say the guy that you're turning them with you know you can apply the brake pressure a little bit um, on your controller and then it will stop you before you smash into the dude <laughs> and it doesn't stop you uh, like all of a sudden so that way the people behind you aren't gonna you know completely smash right into your car when you hit the brakes so good little tip man and then the differential here guys you guys already know 100% on both lock that diff make sure those rear tires are going to be spinning up like crazy so you can drift man all right that's going to be the build we will, but this is the tune finished let's go slide man let's go slide all right so guys today we are running that sound a little bit different um, to our normal drift sections today we are in Edinburgh I've got a small little section in Edinburgh that I want to show you guys so without further ado man let's go and hit this section bro
Okay, so guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button. Unfortunately, it's not a um, subscriber requested build today, but if you um, do have any builds, be sure to post them up in the comments. You guys already know. Um, I'll get around to them builds. I've already built a couple of the uh, builds that people have said. Um, it's just a case of tweaking them out, man. But I thought I might bring you guys something different today. This is another S15, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, once again, guys, Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.